Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor, and today I'm going to um, show you how to make Elon, uh, E-L-A-N, Elan actually, uh, touchpad drivers less terrible. Now right here in front of me I have a uh, Think Penguin Snares laptop, which is actually the Clevo W640, W650 SZ laptop so it should work on um, pretty much any other laptop that's a rebranded Clevo W650SZ or um, I mean it should be guaranteed to work as long as they have the same touchpad drivers if you're using Windows it should work now the reason why I'm using Windows on this thing even though it's a um, Think Penguin computer it did have Linux Mint on it before, I just find Windows better. Um, and Windows 10 installed very easily. This is Windows 10. You can see like the Windows 10 stuff and the store. Windows 10 installed on this very easily. I didn't have any problems with the drivers. I just installed Windows, wiped the um, drive, installed Windows and it automatically picked up all the drivers and installed it. Now I want to show you how to make the touchpad less terrible on Windows. Don't have to do this on Ubuntu, Linux, uh, Linux Mint, I mean. Because the inbox drivers for Linux Mint, 17.2 I was using on this, they work just fine, but on Windows they're awful. I have them reset to the defaults, let me check though. I reset them to defaults. Let me go into the store uh, to the AccuWeather listing. I have to close and reopen the Windows Store every time that I make a change. I'm going to go into the AccuWeather listing and um, show what it looks like. Well, let's show what it looks like and more show how badly it scrolls. Now watch my fingers down here. See, I'm scrolling. Ah. It's really difficult to scroll. Now I'm going to close the Windows Store. Go into here. Um, go into the ELAN pointing device options. Now you can either double click on it, or you can right click, choose property of touchpad. Um, I have crypto prevent installed so it doesn't allow uh, CPL items to be launched by um, just running them outside a control panel. And you click on this ELAN tab right here, and you want to click on options and it opens the same window. Now, what I want to do in here is I want to go to edge scroll, turn this off, uh, go under multi finger, um, scrolling, keep it that, rotation, turn off rotation, turn off three finger swipe, so that we only have scrolling and zooming on. You can decide if you want reverse scrolling which is like the MacBook scrolling or you can have that turned off that's the cat making noise and we could go under the additional tab and under actually under palm tracking set this to maximum and then set, sen set sensitivity to high click OK go back into the store and back to the AccuWeather listing Now that I'm back in the AccuWeather listing, I'm going to scroll again. It might not be that much better, but it feels quite a bit better. It feels quite a bit better to me than the other uh, settings. Now if you change your scrolling settings while the store is open, it'll like scroll really fast. 
It'll like scroll down up and down really fast. It's kind of strange. But um yeah. Even though that might make Elan touchpads less terrible, they're still like the absolute worst touchpad driver there is. It's ugh. I don't even know why these things are used. It's just touchpad's fine. Windows driver is fine. Elan touchpad driver, not so much. But see, you can't, um, this isn't a precision touchpad either. So you can't do the Windows 10 uh, gestures. Just, yeah, just terrible drivers. I know that people complain about the um, Synaptics drivers, but this, these ELAN drivers are terrible. Just awful. I guess that's all I, I have time today for a video. So um, if you'd like to know what this video is shot on, it is shot on a Canon Vixia HFR700 camera with a, with a Hoya NXT UV filter to filter out you ultraviolet stuff and to protect the screen so um goodbye for now